Two held as cops intensify search for men who killed five in Clarendon. Greetings. The sympathies are your blessing. Two of the men identified as persons of interest in the recent spate of killings in Effortville, Clarendon are now in police custody. Police report that a total of five persons were shot and killed and three others were injured over a 24-hour period between Wednesday and Thursday in the parish following the attacks. One man identified as a person of interest turned himself into the police on Friday, December 18. Another person of interest was taken into custody on Saturday, December 19. Uh, we can confirm at this time that a second person of interest has been taken into custody today during operations in the Effort Villain wider farm communities. Uh, members of the constabulary have been in the area and we can confirm that yes, another individual. Now yesterday one person who was named as a person of interest turned himself in to the police and now we have a second person that is in our custody. Uh, the remaining persons of interest, we are putting out an official statement naming them. We are not confirming who is currently in our custody. Of course, we have our proper protocols to follow. However, they have the remaining persons have until midday on Monday to turn them to visit the nearest police station. We would like to have words with them because we believe that they would be of assistance to our investigations into these killings here in Effortville. We have not said who is in custody, but we will say the, the, the mm. remaining person, yes. yes, in a statement that we are about to release. Okay. Right. We, have, we have been on the ground here in the community, um, touring the various places where the various locations where the killings have taken place, getting a first-hand understanding of what is happening on the ground. As you know, earlier this week, the police commissioner, Major General Anthony Anderson, um, ordered the increased deployment of officers into the space. We have had increased support from the Major Investigation Division, as well as from of the criminal investigation branch supporting the local investigators on the ground and we are reaping success from that as well. A curfew is in place and continues to be in place. Um, beginning, it, it began yesterday um, at 5 p.m. and would continue for 96 hours after that. So we have intensified our policing operations in the community. We are assuring members that we are doing all that is within our power to keep them safe. And we are encouraging people to just work with us. If you see something, say something. These are very challenging times, but we are up to the task and we have the wherewithal to bring these people to justice. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Now, viewers, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Remember to like, share, leave a comment, and be sure to click the notification bell for more videos. Greetings. The sympathies are your blessing.